As the country is remembering the legacy and service of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, tonight we're hearing from Augustana University President and former U.S. Representative Stephanie Herseth Sandlin about how the justice impacted her world. Kettle Lands Dan Santeller brings you Herseth Sandlin's thoughts on the night B. Good evening, Dan. Don Herseth Sandlin is now president of Augustana, but from 2003 to 2011, she represented South Dakota in the House of Representatives in Washington, where she also studied at Georgetown University. I took a women in law course during my junior year of college at Georgetown. I had already uh, intended to go to law school at some point, and that just solidified it for me because a number of the, of the cases that we studied in that course in the early 90s, she had been involved in in the 70s. Her Seth Sandlin uses the word courage to describe Ginsburg's legacy. When people refer to her as a pioneer, she really was one of the earliest voices of women for women in the legal field in the United States. The Augie president makes a connection between Ginsburg and a member of her own family. I view her in a similar manner while I didn't know her personally as someone who was a trailblazer in the same way that my grandmother was and someone who modeled for other women the importance of not being overly judgmental about the choices that women make in their lives as they blend family and career. Herseth Sandlin says her grandmother, Lorna B. Herseth and Ginsburg, have both been role models. I consider her a role model from the time I was reading about the cases she argued when I was in college and how I learned more about her and her jurisprudence in her early years on the Supreme Court, being close to one of my mentors at Georgetown, who actually worked closely with her in her confirmation process. The former representative shared examples of different friends' lives and linked them to the influence of the late Supreme Court justice. None of us would have had these opportunities to realize our professional dreams and to find creative ways to blend that with our desire to also raise families in a way that's so supportive had we not had trailblazers like Justice Ginsburg. And what she did within her sphere of influence is incumbent upon us now, women leaders who have spheres of influence, to continue to support and care for and advance the interests of women. Hersa Sandlin says she did meet Ginsburg only for a short amount of time at the House of Representatives when they were there at a State of the Union address. Okay, thanks a lot, Dan.